No, in the mid 80s. People wouldn't say, Do you want a drink? They said, Do you want a line? And along this fucking bar, it'd be all lines of cocaine. This is my hotel in Ibiza, Pice Hotel. I would say this hotel became the centre of hedonism. Ibiza was an island where you could come to and be yourself. There was no rules and regulations. You come here and you find your inner self. I found my inner pike. All of this I built over a 20 year period. This is the main way to the tennis court. Freddie used to play tennis with here with me. Freddie became a regular visitor. That room there. It's called Julio's Lazy Suite, Julio's. So Freddie said to me, is it called Julio's? I said, well, it's named after the international singing star. He said, but Pike, what about me? I said, well, you keep singing, Freddie. I'm not making any promises, but maybe one day I'll put your name on something. We've done the back, we call it Freddie's Bar. This was my room here when I was married. I was dating Grace Jones, and I went out with Grace, and we came back at night. It was all dark, and everybody's in bed. So we walked along this path here from the tennis court and all the gowns were strewn in the shrubs. She said, this is a limit, Tony. Who's done this? I said, well, my wife. Because she's jealous that we're having an affair. Grace Jones is the best fuck I've ever had in my life. She had so much energy. Boy, did she. <laughs> How old are you now? 83. I've slept with in excess of 3,000 people. I'm a sex addict, but I'm not ashamed of it. I was diagnosed with a double aorta, and what it meant was I was pumping two litres of sex. The average man says it's you, it's pumping five litres a minute. I was pumping a seven. Where the extra two litres go? Into my dick. So it wasn't my fault. I, I fucking, big fucking cock, get down here. Glasses, get down, get down. Don't answer me back, get down. And, but it could be come up again, see? <laughs> They call me the fucking machine. <laughs> I made love with men. I'm not a gay. This is where George Michael and Andrew Risley and me did the Club Tropicana. I was behind the bar selling the cocktails in the video. Didn't you have an experience with George? Sort of. <laughs> it was a love story between George and I. He was a great, I loved him. Didn't realise he was a star, and so it makes him more of a star. Okay, let's walk this way, folks. Over the years, there have been many stories here, but a lot of them can't be public. You've got to be very careful when you're supplying drugs, but if I said no, they'd leave the hotel. A good example was He said, you've got to get me coke, and I'd have to have five grams a day, top quality. So I said, okay, leave it to me. So I thought about it, I went down, I approached the police chief, I said, I want to supply cocaine to one of my guests. Well, you do, I'll put you in jail. Who is he? Oh, I've heard of So he said, well, Pike, leave the office, say no more. So I supplied five grams a day. One night, I was at the bar here. I turned around, there's a girl sitting there, and very, very attractive. And the bar said, you know, that is Mr. Pike. I said, no, it's, it's pepper from the salt and pepper. I thought, I've got to get some coke. Racked up two lines, I hooded it down. As soon as I took it, it was candy. Pepper was there and she said, Tony, I'm so sorry this happened. I said, baby, I'm suffering very badly, darling. I've just done bloody cat. I said, I'm in the kale. Connie Minogue was a lovely, lovely girl. She's Australian, of course. And so I really fancied her. I said, look, baby, I've got a boat in the harbour. Why don't we go on the boat away from me? prying eyes and so we went off on the boat and we spent five days just cruising around. We weren't intimate but we had a lovely lovely time and I would never say a bad thing about it. I live a dangerous life. Be the happiness in my opinion is total freedom. I'm nobody special but I'm different. <laughs>